Greetings, everyone. This is the Hipster Snack, joined by Dutaku, and we're back to being Cyber Sleuth. That's right. Search wanted hacker. Found a Monster King at Kowloon level 2. Yeah, sure. Let's go teach this guy a lesson. Being mean to your Digimon is not an option. That's no good. He really isn't. Alright. Let's get to it. So, we just need to find the guy with the exclamation point over his head. And, uh... Yeah. We're gonna have us a grand old time. Seeing as how I really don't remember everything we did last time. I remember the ghost hunting one. And we did, like, one side mission, I think, for Hagurumon. Beyond that, yeah, it's been a stressful week, so I don't even remember. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh, Lekasmon does a rider kick. If you mom jacked your car. I mean, they might as well have. Yeah, here's a public service announcement. If you have a Hyundai or a Kia built in the last, like, seven or eight years, immediately take it to a dealership so they can fix this problem. Because all they need for people to hijack your car without the key is a USB plug. And let's be real, what car, like, anywhere nowadays doesn't have one of those in it? Alright, virus type. That's an interesting little conundrum. So, yeah. Waking up and getting ready to go to work and not being able to because your car is just gone is, uh, feels bad, man. I'll check this little dead end area here first. He might be over here. Do we not have a vaccine type? Not currently, because Terriermon is currently at the rookie level. Alright. Oh, right, we took him down so that way we can go up the Gatamon line. That part I do remember. Yep! I figured he'd be hiding over here. It's a hacker from the Blacklist. Sup. So, these Digimon, I'll be the strongest hacker ever. Anybody who tries to stay on my way gets a one-way ticket to a beatdown. Well, at least he was to the point. Oh, we can get Impmon now if we want to. I mean, if we wanted to go for... His... What's that? I was about to say, I think you have his, his form before. Uh, I might. I forget. Yeah, we, we do have the disadvantage of the vaccine data virus triangle, but we have champions and he has rookies, so there was no doubt about which way that would go. Yeah, this is the, uh, the, the, the bit in Girl Chan in Paradise when he gets thrown down the... <laughs> thrown the down stairs. the stairs repeatedly, yep. I still have a long way to go, I guess I'm, but I'm not giving up. But not by a long shot. I'll try my Digimon to be back, just you wait. The hacker has repented now. Yeah, you could guess you could call it that. What, what was he doing wrong? I don't know, but it's one of those side missions that you can get from the farm island. And honestly, like, I have to say, the Farm Island has come such a long way. Like, back in the original Digimon DS, it was one of the most useless things I've ever seen. And then, like, this game actually adds some mechanical nuance to it. You know what? Let me check my items real quick. A thought occurs to me. So I did this before. Yep, I was right. I have a memory up here I can use. That should make things a little easier. Right now, our maximum party size is at least big enough for two champions and an ultimate, I think. I recall about the time that I got this, I was able to squeeze out, like, exactly three ultimates. That sounds which, right, because I think for, that's about where my file was in my personal play. For, for which people who might my... Be... Nope. Good. Uh, I was just going to say, it kind of boiled my cheese when I um, got to the point where they're like, you need four Digimon. I'm like, I, I, but I, I have three. 
I have three really I, good ones. I can't, I can't afford to have a fourth. <laughs> And so I actually had to degenerate one of them so I could uh, actually afford to get the other rookie that I needed. Ah, uh, they are on standby. So you guys are going to continue to investigate. Find us fun side missions and stuff like that. Just keep them busy for a while. It's like Ask Jeeves. Basically. Let's see. To become a Gatamon... Okay, it's two more levels. Or three. And these guys... I think we're still a ways off. I'm not that too far off, if I wanted to get more Graumon, which I of course do. Sunflamon? I think that's Angelwomon. I have a lot of ways of getting angels, come to think of it. It's all level 30. Level 30 seems to be the ultimate threshold. Mm -hmm. Which is going to sound weird to people who don't understand how Digimon works, because ultimate is never ultimate in Digimon. Well, um, Mega was supposed to be perfect. Is that right? No, uh, Ultimate was mm -hmm. perfect, Mega was Ultimate, and then there's another level beyond that, either Ultra or Super Ultimate. So, I mean, it all makes absolutely no sense insofar as Digimon itself really doesn't make any sense. Makes more sense than Pokemon. In some respects, that's good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Jutaku is spitting hot facts for your entertainment. Both facts and logic. I see you're working hard for me, Ray. Nice job. You two appear to be developing quite a unique dynamic, if I do say so myself. What do you got for me, Chief? You think I'm working you too hard? You got a lot of nerve. Who exactly is giving you room and board again? I don't know. Am I sleeping on the couch? What am I supposed to do, then? Uh, Maybe we need to take a look a, around. Don't you have a uh, a thing in the menu where you can like look at your ongoing quests? May not hurt to check. No current cases. How do I get the next level of wall crack? Four or more Digimon that are champion or better. We're gonna need all these at one point or another. But, at the same time, some of them are more annoying to get than others. So, let's explore around and see if anyone has some hot scoop for us. Even though we're in, you know, 2010s Japan, I'm gonna talk like a 1920s news reporter from America. We're a gumshoe, don't you know? <laughs> when in doubt, the most important thing is to look around and see what the randos tell you, if anything. The game's usually pretty good at drawing your attention to stuff you need to be aware of. BRB, you gotta go to the maid cafe. Never get too tired of TRF on the fourth floor, I come here. That's cool. Don't just love it when random people just come up to you and they're like, Hey, I'm the protagonist. Tell me your life story. It's rude to go the wrong way on the escalator. Okay, I'm glad that we have decency and morals to our name. Oh, uh, you know what? I think she mentioned something about the coffee place last time we played, so I think I need to go check in with these I guys. I don't know if we want to aid and abet with, you know, Yeah, I don't. Crimes. I don't, but here we are. Buying more beans already, I suppose that with more employees, the supply is used up that much faster. Come to think of it, when you head back, why don't you buy some takoyaki from the third floor to go with your coffee? Only well, a child does no more than what they're asked. Go above and beyond, and you'll be seen quite clever. It says the guy who is, again, aiding and abetting war crimes. Got the coffee beans for Kyoko asked for. What new horror will she create from these incredible beans that smell so good? <laughs> Who knows? She'll probably put octopus and, I don't know, jam in it. Oh, it's on Yes Oblige. <sighs> Doing a mukbang video. 
I. Here's a deep sea pufferfish. Now I have to eat it while it's still alive. <laughs> oh, jeez. That'd be a difficult challenge and a really tragic result. Well, I mean, that's... <laughs> what thing is... It's a thing. Yeah. exists. There's a poster on the wall Yuko was staring at. Nationwide B-level gourmet battle. A restaurant becomes a culinary battleground. Grated yam ramen, tuna scraps, gyoza, the famous massive frozen custard dim sum. Well, like this is what Yuko was looking at. <laughs> Nobody's mouth would be water over this. Yeah, that doesn't sound very pleasant. It doesn't, but she was definitely excited for it. Thanks for doing the shopping. We're waiting for you to get back. So you see a client has arrived. Hello. Yeah, you could have touch. <laughs> it gets more and more accusatory. I know it did! St speak up about your crimes! Hello. Mouthwater, what are you talking about? This is our client. At least she's being honest about her identity now. Now then, Miss Kamashiro, what matter of a case brings you to us? Okay. I want you to investigate my father. Oh, this is this is getting interesting. Search continues. Yuko Kamashiro. Kamishiro Satoru san. Satoru Kamashiro, former president of Kamashiro Enterprises. He passed away last year. It was poor Debinus. Oops, I have to cut that word out. That isn't true. My father would never end himself. If you guys at home think I'm being weird about this, you don't understand just how touchy YouTube is about that subject. Sorry for the outburst. No, nothing to apologize for. Why do you believe that he wouldn't do it? Do you have some proof that he wasn't? No, I don't. That's exactly why I've come to you. I see, that makes sense. You want clues? You may want to start with Mikato Yamashina, whom I had you investigate the other day. He was a researcher for Kamashiro until last year. Aha, the dots are starting to align. He left the company around the same time my father died, and then he disappeared. So the Yamashina is connected to your father's death in some way. Yes. Even though there's no direct connection, I'm certain you must know something about my father's death. Hmm, so you had us investigating Makajo Yamashina as a prelude to this case. That was your way of testing us. Hmm? Since you brought another case to us, that implies that we passed your test. I apologize, there are so few people around me who I can trust. I'm very sorry for you guys my... Seem so <laughs> you guys seem so untrustworthy that you're, you're trustworthy. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I hope such an honest answer is proof that we are in good trust. We shall investigate your father's death. Thank you, thank you very much. Please excuse me a moment. Hello, yes, no, no, there's no problem. Yes, what? No, I'm alone. I understand, I'll be right back. Please wait at the head office, Miss Ree. Goodbye. Sorry, something came up all of a sudden. So it appears. Please leave the investigation to us. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now. This is going to be a really big case. We've got to go all out and solve it. If all goes well, we can expose Kamashiro's past along the company's inner workings. I should ask the to mute Matayoshi for his help. I don't think he's going to do it. Let's get started on this case. I'll go over the info on Makoto Yamashina again. While I'm doing that, I want you to go out, back out to his home and pay him another visit. I don't know if we'll get anything new, but, well, in VNG, I guess. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I assume. I, I would assume so too, yes. No, sorry, never mind, it's nothing important. It's something my father used to say a lot. It's an abbreviation for nothing ventured, nothing gained. My father said something different, though. Something ventured, something gained. I always thought that she abbreviated as SVSG, but it's a rather elegant and refined expression, don't you think? No need to think too deeply on it. That would be inelegant. Okay, enough of the chit chat. Go on the case for me. 
Yeah, okay, boss, whatever. Is that you to your midlife crisis? You know what you work on the case? Leave it to me. I'm a cool shonen pro tag. Alright, time to go shake someone down. Let's let's threaten to break their kneecaps. That should be funny. Let's see. Open the door, it's the popo. -po. You're a stubborn one. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know any Kamashiro. Yes, you do. You're asking if I've never heard of them. The first I heard of them was from you. No, it was before that. On the news, I think? Wait, no, maybe I heard it from my daughter? I don't know. Ask my daughter. Ask Chica. I need to lie down. I suddenly feel dizzy. Chica, she says from the Shibuya, I believe. A new single from a band was going to be available for a limited time at Shibuya Records. Jimmy Ken. No, that wasn't it. You must really, really must excuse me. You are no help. Is this Shibuya Records in Shibuya to talk to Yamashina's daughter, Chika? Yeah, I probably could have guessed that Shibuya Records was in Shibuya. I mean, kind of a safe know, assumption, could, I would think. Could be like Buffalo, New York, which doesn't have anything to do with actual buffaloes. That's true. So it's all a load of buffalo. Yeah. Ranch dressing, which doesn't have anything to do with any ranches. That's true. I'm not going to check my text in the middle of the crosswalk. I'm sleepy today. Let's take it easy. You're not fun that way, yeah? I'm farming and playing trained with everyone. Come on, let's give it a try. Okay. Where should be your records? Are you Chica? No. I'm going to 109 to look for Argyle Socks. I also want a paisley kilt and a tan. Okay. Talking to you is just confusing. That's, uh... Quite the combination. Okay, let's check down this way. Nice hair! Ah, there you are. You see the questions again? We just want to be left alone. Yeah, that sucks. Answer my questions. What is it now? About my dad? There's not really much to say. Until recently, my dad was a workaholic. He didn't even come home on his days off. They seem to change more recently. His photo shifted to taking care of his family. I'm not sure why exactly. Maybe something changed with his work. Before I know, he was worked for a place called the Nile Corporation, but... Should you be on your way? I don't have much free time either. Can I go now? How did it go? Get any useful clues? Nile Corporation, I guess. I hadn't thought there'd be a connection there. Nile Corporation, our paths have crossed before. Zed Yoshi looked into the company once before. My father was involved in that investigation, too. They were following up on a hunch, apparently. Okay, look into that Nile Corporation for me. You might be able to get some info on the Corporation Pavilion near the Eden entrance. I looked into the case files that my father and Detective Matayoshi put together back then. Alright, counting on you. The Corporation Pavilion near the Eden entrance. You don't like Jimmy Ken's song? Just, just don't think about him, that's all. It's the daytime over there, it's night here. I don't want all over collecting data. Good job today, Mom. Who needs parents when you can run away and hang out on the internet with random monsters? I'm sure nothing will go wrong. You know, it begs the question, what level uh, is Kyoko? Huh. That is a good question. Is she an ultimate level? Is she a mega level? Well, given that she has most of her chest exposed, she has to be at least an ultimate. Hmm. That tends to happen with, you know, Digimon who have, you know, those characteristics. Y'all all know what I'm trying know, to say. I, I suppose, you know, from what I've been told from a, a pretty famous Let's Play, you know, humans die when they go mega. That makes sense. Uh, she's probably ultimate. Hurry up, I'm busy, you know. Nile Corporation does sound kind of unfamiliar. Yes, I'm sure I've never heard of it. 
Whatever, who cares about that? I'm sure I've never heard of it. That's such a weird way to phrase that. More importantly, what do you think about Eden's avatar system? Are you really satisfied with it? You don't even care, do you? At that face, of course you don't. What? Okay, I'll leave you to it. You often nice my kids could also work for a big comeback town of Shiro. Now, Corporation, it's a company created to research the Eden avatar system, isn't it? I think they were bought out by some big company a long time ago, though. They aren't around anymore. Alright. All right, back to the op You're gonna give up just after asking two people? <laughs> you suck at your job! Alright, that's fine. Not my place to cast judgment, except that I'm totally casting judgment right now. I'm back. I talked to two oh, old people. Oh, there you go, system. You're getting used to working as the detective? What did that look? You're looking at me like I'm not supposed to be here. Kyo Chang can tell you why I'm here. Well, something strange has happened, and we can't find the Nile Corporation case files. So I thought I'd ask someone directly involved in the case itself. Of course, you didn't find them. All the files were stored together at Kamashiro. I'm ashamed to admit this, but we had to leave the files there. This was that hunch of yours, isn't it? Yes. At the time, suspicions were raised that Kamashiro had acquired the Nile Corporation illicitly. Your father and I are investigating that we ran into a problem. A problem? Pressure came down from up top. We were forced to abandon the case. That's not shady as all get out. At the time, we were also forced to hand all over case files to Kamashiro. So, Kamashiro pulled the strings. That was a self-incriminating move, wasn't it? That was the implied understanding. Since we knew how bad it was, we decided to keep silent track of where the case files were stored. We kept track even after your father passed away. And the files were being stored deep in the Avalon server, which is the main Kamashiro server. I'm sure it's part of the cyberspace Kamashiro employees call the confidential database. And when I say I've kept track, it's not like I've confirmed the data's location firsthand. At best, it's conjecture based on info from scans of the environs. Call it intuition. That's good enough for me. Well then, I say it's about time we had to return what they've been keeping for us. Listen to me, Kyo-chan, this is Kamashiro we're dealing with. How do you plan to get around the top-notch security of a world-renowned company? Let's learn from the case of the robbing rooster. We don't force our way through a closed gate, so we employ strategy and have them open it for us. Oh, hey now, is that even possible? Actually, yes. It, it absolutely is. is. <laughs> the good detective makes the impossible possible. What? We already have a rooster of our, of our own lined up, someone who can crow in just the way we need. And we get her help to help us when it comes to infiltrating Kamashiro. Speak of the devil. Begging your pardon. <laughs> Once again, you read right on time. This is my client, Yuko Yukamashiro. Has there been any progress? I talked to two whole people! That's progress, am I right, guys? You don't mean the four, no, right? three. <laughs> I know, right? I'm just racking it up. No one would question her if she were to walk into corporate HQ. What? I... Who is this? Young lady, we need your assistance, please. What? What? Huh? What? I thought instead of stammering, someone explained the situation to her. I see. What do you say? We don't need help with the investigation. That's fine. I want to know if my suspicions are correct as well, after all. Aha. But I'm a minor, and as such, my authority from the company is rather restricted. I thought I'd be able to do much more than get you into the lobby of the main office. I think about this. If I were inviting friends from school to take a tour, it shouldn't be an issue getting you into the lobby, I think. It'd be hard passing me and Kyocha up as your friends. Worst case, they might recognize us, too. As long as you're getting my assistant in, that would be terrific. Could you manage that? How do we get into the confidential database? Do you have some means of doing that? I sure do. If you're resistant, we're a world-class hacker, I doubt it's even possible. I'm not quoting Kyoko, I'm taking my own route in this. Yes, we're lucky I'm a cyber sleuth. There we have it, Yuko. Leave the domain of the cyber sleuthing to us. Yeah, it kind of helps that I have magic program critters that let me do just essential magic hacking. There's really no other way to describe what Digimon do in this world. I don't get things set up. What are you actually going to do? 
To get in? I have an idea, actually. Oh, ho. There was one little case where I got my hands on a little program. I'm thinking of having it customized for my assistant to help with someone I know. Shall we get started with the preparations? My dear assistant, start by heading to Mirai Mikigura's place. I'll let her know you're coming and why. You can get the details from her. Go see my waifu? Can do! Yeah, a lot of text now I have to ask you a question. What's that? What's your least favorite kidney? <laughs> oh, that's such that a specific no question. <laughs> nice, that's not to say that. Get to bed early yourself. Address a dreadful task to you, return when things aren't serious. No need to worry, I can literally just live on the internet if need be. And I live on the internet. <laughs> no one can stop me. You know, that lady should be alarmed that I keep disappearing in front of her, but she never says anything. Is it true you're taking a break from school? Sounds like a tons of fun. All I've had to work it is keeping me pretty busy. I'm just a truant, don't mind me. My preparations are complete. Go ahead, take this program. Hacking skills, stealth hide. It's a hacking skills program repurposed for the Baku pro program Kyoko gave me. By using this, you'll be able to almost perfectly master account information. Oh, I get to hide behind ten proxies like an internet warrior. Effectively, you'll be invisible. Given your half cyber body, you should be able to use that skill not only in cyberspace, but in the real world as well. <laughs> okay, magic powers are go. This will potentially be useful. You can track me because I'm <laughs> hiding in incognito mode. I try always browse in incognito mode. Given your deepening bond with Digimon, I trust you won't use it for evil purposes. I will do literally anything you say, Mirei. That was rhetorical, dear. I see all. Oh, that's... that's a little concerning. And a little hot. You're a cyber sleuth, no? Someday you must expose my secrets. I... are you coming on to me? Anyway, <laughs> I got in touch with Kyoko. Things went well, it seems. I'm not sure you have any questions, so let's start by focusing on the relevant case. I heard from Yuko Kamashiro earlier, and you've been invited to Kamashiro Corporate HQ. Kamashiro HQ, special visit URL. Access URL to access an account with privileges to tour the corporate office. The privileges are limited to the lobby, but that should be more than enough to get you in without too much trouble. You had a rooster crow, now set the fox loose in the hen house. You've gotten some handy hacking skills, I know, but you need to think on your feet in there. Be the wolf in sheep's clothing. It'll take all your cunning, skill, and bravery to sneak in and waltz out with the grand prize. For the record, Detective Matayoshi isn't involved with obtaining and using the hacking skills for this case. Keep that in mind. Now then, let's get this job done. The police would probably not, you know, rather not implicate themselves with a bunch of illegal programs, so yeah, that checks out. Ah, everyone wants a piece of me today. What kind of people are your friends? Kuro, Ryota, and Sakura at school and Nokia and Arata I met online. And the Tomodachi Bros. Season 2, coming soon. Trademark XD. LLC. BBQ. <laughs> WTF. Gotta have BBQ. So, that's a URL. So you want me to go in digitally? Like, I thought I was, like, physically going into their main lobby, but apparently I am not. Or at least, maybe not yet. No, it's a virtual tour. If I recall correctly, you do actually uh, data jump into their actual server rooms. Yeah, you're so If late. I'm remembering this, this part of the game. That sounds right. This is, for, for people who may not know, I had this game on the PS4, and I don't have my PS4 anymore, so I didn't finish the game then. Then I had a personal file on this same game, but it was actually around here that I ended up stopping. I probably got distracted by something shiny, so, yeah. Yeah, like, probably that's banana. Yeah, I'll well, probably that. You're so late. I am uh, ultra super worried. I, I can tell how sincere you're being by the tone of your voice. Oh, not that I was worried about you, see. Don't get the wrong idea or anything. 
Yeah, that's about the face I'd be making in this situation. Club doctor. Weirded out. Snack, I need you to pretend that you're my friend here. <laughs> Follow my lead, alright? Is there uh, anything the matter with that? You pretend to be my friend, right? A school friend, a normal friend friend? That's odd. Were the files I dug up on friendship mistakes? I don't think those were files on friendship. I think you were just reading a bunch of really trite manga. Read Azumanga Dayo. It's good. You want me to act like I normally do. I'm not sure no, if you want to base your friendship off Azumanga Dayo. <laughs> I mean, it was the first thing that popped into my head. I'm not quite sure I get what you're saying. That's true, then you and I are already friends after a fashion, no? Yes. I see. That was just a joke that fell flat, right? That was part of the plan, right, Snack? Things are a little too real for me there. I forgot to let myself play along. What I mean is you've done your homework. I seem to have misjudged you. I... Are you okay? Like, is this a real conversation? Am I... Is this a fever dream? Have the last 12 years just been a dream and I'm just not privy to it? Anyway, welcome to Kamashiro. Let's pretend to tour the lobby. I'll pretend to show you around. Ah, we're doing a lot of pretending right now. Why are you pretending to hold my hand? <laughs> you know, for the illusion. You're gonna strike out on your own. I have that ability. What's your actual plan for getting in? You know, rip and tear, the usual. Wing it. Make it up as I go. What? How does the person has vanished, both the avatar and the account info? Oh, Miss Yuko, where's your friend gotten off to? My friend has, um... Playing... We're playing hide-and-seek! <laughs> what? Hide-and-seek? That's right, is there a problem? No, no problem per se. This is the right place for hide-and-seek, it's so spacious. I suppose it is, sure, there certainly is a lot of space here. By the way, I'm in. Well then, good luck, I guess. I get the feeling she's a bit... sheltered. Thank you, I'm gonna find my friend, just you watch. That's the spirit. Well then, give it your best shot. Say hello to your friend for me. My name is Snack. He says hello. <laughs> Program that seals an account. This requires Digimon program hacking skills, which is completely illegal, I'll point out. To be fair, these were foisted on me. I was not given a say in the matter. I mean, what ha what what is it if someone robs a bank, hands you the money, and then they run away, leaving you with the money in your hands? Like, can you even be charged with a crime? I guess possession of stolen goods. I don't know how I don't, I don't know how that would work. You and Kyoko did say that cybersleuthing was your area of expertise, so that's reassuring. When you're finished, meet me here. We'll leave together. Please try not to take too long. There's a limit to the time we can spend pretending to play hide and seek. Take my time. Understood. I have all the time in the world. Kyoko told me to think on my feet. I don't see any place to connect jump. Let me look around. Go invisible so you cannot be detected by others. Your account info will be hidden so you can investigate without leaving a trace. Sup. Miss Hugo's friend, please enjoy yourself. Welcome to Eden Headquarters, Kamashiro Enterprises. Just because you're friendly with the old present salary doesn't mean you can sweep around the place. Employees only, got it? Yeah, whatever, loser. It's hard to up the Miss Kashibe. I mean, I'm running out of things to talk about. <laughs> Compliments her looks, her style, her ability, age sounds like a bad idea. That's it, if I can get a hold of her personal files, I can come up with even more creative and artistic compliments. Wait, no, those are probably top secret. Even though I could access the Avalon server, I don't have security clearance to get the details. What's left? Personality? I wonder if I can find something nice to say. Blah. Let's have a look around. What do we got? Dark Tyrannomon metal. Neat. Oh, I thought I could walk up that. That totally looks like something I can walk on. Couldn't find the link to the server well, on the terminal. Same. Server access rights are linked to each employee's avatar. The terminals have nothing to do with that. I mean, the avatars themselves are the links. 
The avatars are the links. I better check the avatars from Kamashiro employees. If I just look at avatars, I'll get suspicious. I better use stealth hide. How? You didn't tell me how to do that, game! Ah. Whoosh. At least there's no limits on this one, thank goodness. Let's see, you look important. Could have sworn I saw someone here, I must be imagining things. That's close, doesn't look like there's any see. networks to infiltrate. You know I'm hiding because I'm transparent. Woogie woogie woogie. Still present's daughter, why keep looting around the company? I think I get the network from here. Better try something more important. That avatar, what service can it access? That avatar's just data. Can I connect jump into it? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm sure nothing terrible will happen. He probably won't even notice. Eh, yeah, right. It looks so weird that I'm flying, but my Digimon are just doing their normal walk cycles. Ah, Gobblemon. So, Snack, if someone was to connect jump into you, what, po or what Digimon would they find inside you? Oh, inside of me? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it depends on if it's based on me physically or if it's based on me mentally. It's like, I love technology, so maybe, like, Gardramon or Andramon. Hmm. But if it's based on me like physically, it would be some kind of snack themed Digimon like Orochimon or something. <laughs> There's a lot of different ways it could go. Mm -hmm. What about you, Ritaku Man? What, what Digimans would I find if I kind of jumped into you? Uh. Uh. Monsaimon, <laughs> Digitamamon, Metal Edamon. So, a bunch of memes is what I'm hearing. Mm hmm. Uh, that, that checks out. Let's see where this takes us. Ooh, pretty. Remember when sci fi used to be all glitter and neon? I miss those days. Yeah. Let's keep moving. I think I went to this place in Seventh Dragon. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, geez, that's an ultimate level Digimon. I know what that is. And it scares me. Not, not him. That thing. I believe that's Cannon Beamon? Wait, no, that might be the champion version. I could be wrong. I've actually raised Digimon from that family line before, which is why I kind of immediately had my visceral reaction. It's strong, which is why it's going first. But I don't mind Aguramon as much. He's just a rookie, so... Significantly lower threat. Aww, she's oh, hopping she... for joy. <laughs> she is. Dawn and Dusk were really good, but you have to be willing to grind a lot if you're going to play that game. Mm hmm. Sweet. I'll always take free items. Bless you. Thank you. It's actually kind of funny. I um, I was playing uh, live alive yesterday, ah. and I was doing the um, kung fu chapter. Right. And I actually had a situation where I'm like, uh, I don't know if I want to use my items, but I'm like, I'm gonna lose them anyway, so I might as well. Yep. It's a weird feeling, but. You only get so much time in each chapter, so you might as well. Yeah. And man. I forgot how much of a uh, difficulty Odie Wong Lee was. Yep. 
You can be very tough if you don't expect it. Yeah, I was clowning on all his disciples, and then suddenly he shows up and starts jump kicking me. And I'm like, oh gosh. Such a happy, derpy plant monster. Height of irony for her mega form. <laughs> it really is. Oh, Starmon and Salamon. Pick the baby. No, pick the baby. Pick the baby. Terramon should be ready to turn into Gatamon when we get back to Mirei's lab. I could technically run back and do it now, but I'm not going to worry about it right this second. Guys, I have something to tell you. What's that, Terramon? I've been a cat this whole time. Gasp. The, the supposedly dog has been a cat this whole time. Oh, hey, Wormon. Yeah, see, that's a weird thing. A Digimon does. Terriermon is listed as a dog Digimon. Lotmon is listed as a rabbit Digimon. <laughs> and there's there they claim that there's no problem here. Well, you see, Lotmon has three horns. Terriermon doesn't. That's true, with all those horned rabbits <laughs> we have running around. Oh, jackalopes and stuff. That's true. Carriermon just has the one. Than that. Oh. Wish I could zoom the mini map out a little. I may need to go around the other direction though. Let's see if that works. Oh, it's um, Alcomon and Zomamon? Yep, you got it right. I, I am conflicted because I have to say Gomamon was my favorite adventure, even though he really didn't do anything. <laughs> he had a but few the moments. dynamic, the dynamic between him and Joe is just really, really funny. It is because he was more of a go-getter, while Joe was the more cautious one, so it worked. Mm -hmm. oh. How do I get to the outer ring then? Oh, I think I see it. Okay, yeah, I got it now. Okay. Turns out if you're not as dumb as a snack, you can figure this out too. You stop smoking snack coin, snack. I know I don't do that. It's terrible for your teeth. So close. Fifteen damage. <laughs> no one liked an O2 where Mon. Yeah, O2 was pretty bad. I'm actually genuinely shocked they're trying to do a relaunch of it. No one. Who's the final villain? No one knows! <laughs> Including the writers of O2, <laughs> who just gave up and used Myotismon again. 
like, it's Edamon, baby. <laughs> See, that would actually have been funny. And O2 was not that awesome. highbrow. <laughs> Wait, no. Yes. That's going to go this way. Okay, back on track. There you go. It's interesting that Wormmon's not aligned. Most of the time, he's a virus type. King Edismon, baby. Or King Edamon, baby. <laughs> that would have been funny. King of Digimon. Well, I gotta say, I, I really find it funny that they took his kind of rockabilly thing and they uh, in his title, and they're like, yeah, well, obviously he's an Elvis impersonator. And it still totally perfectly works for his character. <laughs> mm -hmm. So sometimes it's just meant to be. Yeah. Oh boy, I can get worm on, guys. Literally, you would only get worm on if you were going for Paul Dramon and Imperial Dramon. How are things going? Well, my assistant was in the middle of an operation when those connections would drop. Yes, there's nothing out of the ordinary here. Everything's still going according to plan. Hmm, those are impressive skills. Yes, I'm a bit surprised myself. I see how that snack has gotten using Digimon programs. No, I'm talking about you, Yuko Kanashiro. Huh? Will you arrange a tour of the office, the way you've been responding to everything? You're quite good at thinking on your feet. No, she's actually quite terrible, actually. <laughs> say you're an old hat, this sort of thing. Just who are you, exactly? I don't know what to say. I'm just me. I don't know who else I'm supposed to be. Was there something else? Uh-oh, we've been made. What? Not we've been had, which would make sense. What was that just now? We could be in trouble since your conversation is being eavesdropped on. What? No, I mean, someone has placed a wiretap program on your Digivice in the real world. I should have noticed it sooner. It takes some real skill to enable a specific or frequency. Whoever is doing this knows their stuff. Eavesdropping, but that means. Yeah, I hate to make this call, but you need to pull out of their ASAP. Consider it a valiant retreat of sorts. Slow and steady wins the race. Slender work requires a patient and diligent disposition. Snack is still inside. Yes, I doubt it'll be easy to get the abort mission order, though. Snack is my assistant. Should be able to figure something out. But that's... You're not in a position to worry about anyone else right now. Hurry up and get out. I'll wait for whatever caused my assistant's little vanishing act to wear off. On your way out, it should be possible to cover your tracks and employ some misdirection from the outside. It's too risky to keep this conversation going. I'm going to cut the line. Well, it can't be that easy now, can it? Let's see... what do we got? I can see a code scan. Make it possible to access encrypted data. Um, hacking or database. 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 Accessing server. Data download complete. Hey, you. You're finally awake. What's about online? It treats people like crap, too. World of Ultima Online. <laughs> so, even a reason why we're on lookout duty? I know, right? Kamashiro's a pretty much the top tier. There's no one's getting through that easy. What are you so scared of? I know, I feel an electric sneeze come- What? What? Look, I, I, I accept Digipoo as a mechanic because it ties back to the original Tamagotchi, but electric sneeze? Really? I'm drawing a line here. I should explain what that is. It's a physiological phenomenon the digital body experiences during a dive into the digital world. Essentially, there's no difference between that and a sneeze in the real world. So just, see, just call it a sneeze then, idiot. Just a sneeze, but type of involuntary movement that your body can't hold. Yes, you can. Plug your nose, you idiot. And right now is not the time for one. What a pain, what a pain. Don't you knock it off. This is where they're messing around. I'm sure I heard that somewhere. 
I get to pick my sneeze sound. Okay. This one, I guess. Yeah, something would suddenly show up like... What the what? You, where did you pop up from? Who the heck are you? You actually managed to break in? This is Kamashiro talking about it. Who the heck are you? It's like, what are we going to do with this dweeb? What are we going to do? We were ordered to do. What we're ordered to do? Take care of the intruder. What are you doing here? No. Hey, dude. Oh, snap. Yugo? What the heck's Yugo doing here? How the heck would I know? You have fake Kamashiro employee IDs, or no, you were given access privileges, right? Sometime Kamashiro hired you? Who was it? Who brought you here? Hey, like, who knows, am I right? We don't got an answer to you. Uh, do we? We need to bring shame to this accent name. Yow. Oh, good, it's this idiot again. Words up, everyone's all here, balls. It's really him, Jimmy Kinn and his air guitar to drive demons wild. Excuse me. Everybody excuse me. Yeah. Thank you very much, you know, Lols. What a coincidence running into you here. That's a coincidence that it rocks, Lols. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You're wrapped up in this too. What's going on here? Gee, what indeed? What could it be? Let me throw the same question right back at you. Like, why? Why are you here, Lols? By which I mean, is that your excuse, Lols? Why is everyone looking at me all of a sudden? If, if anyone is here who looks suspicious, it's not me. <laughs> Lamau, can't get your tongue? I see walls. Yeah, that makes sense. La, 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 la. Let me guess, you can't tell me, can you, Hugo, you pretty little thing? Okay, okay. Any dang way, on to more important things. Let's say that I owe you pretty big for the other day, uh huh? As a special way of saying thank you, I'll knock you out, black and blue. How's about you be a good little boys and girls? And become my new number one fans. How about I just punch you in your ugly mug and call it a day? Blue Maramon? Eh, kinda wish I had my vaccine type, but meh, life goes on. Life goes on. Wow, those guys are tough. Yeah, this is not ideal. Upside is, they're really no match for Bralmon. They have so much health. Uh, nothing for it but to make the best of it. Well, you know, they're blue. That means they're... they're... You know, clean burning propane. Yikes. Wow, did they just destroy Legismon? I mean, basically. Turn away for a second, and then one of your guys is nuked. I might end up burning some items in this fight. I didn't think I needed to prepare for this, but here I am having this discussion. I think Brownmon and Terriermon can hold their own, but I'm worried about Sunflamon. Actually, Sunflamon's holding it better than I thought she would. Maybe I should have brought some ultimates. Technically, Blue Marimon is an ultimate. You know what might help? A little bit of poison damage. Ah, good. They're probably immune. Just to rub some salt in the wounds. Good. No status element is catching right now. Of course. 
flowers. Boy's a little confused, but he's got spirit. See, I'm so used to, to Steve Blum's version of Elon <laughs> that uh, him having this deep voice. Really deep voice, me. yeah. As long as we can, if we can destroy one of them, we're gonna be fine. Must have some healing here. I hate to use something so powerful, but we're kind of in a jam. Hold my nose and do it. I need to use a, a mana. Well, why not use one? I can't buy them in a store. I hope they have some meat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't we have seventy-eight of these? That is hashtag relatable. That it is. Oh no. Panic just never wear off. This is oh no, it does. Okay, Terrier Mount's back under control. Game over, man. Game over. Might start using Terrier Mont's turn to heal at this rate, because honestly, he's not doing very much damage. Growlmon. Ah, this is getting really annoying really fast. Plus, I don't think enemies have SP requirements, so it just only kind of hoses me over. Might as well just take care of it now. I use items in my monster game. I'm a shoe in for the Elite Four. No, 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 no. See, you would be a shoe in for the Elite Four if, you know, you're like, okay, I've, you know, slowly worked my way up, and now, you know, I'm here to challenge, to prove myself the best of the best. Oh, man, here come some guys, and they have a bunch of champions, which is okay, because I have champions, too. Oh, yeah, then here comes, you know, Mr. Snick, Professor with, you know, a bunch of ultra levels. This is Old Force V Dramon. He says hello. This is, you know, uh, proportionate. I was hoping to get rid of him. Yeah, when uh, you want to inflict a, an ailment, it's 100%. When I want to inflict an ailment, it's like 5%. Gotta love that crap. Mm-hmm. I guess that's just how it be sometimes. At least we've got their numbers down, so it'll be a less of a pain. Can you feel it? That's an interesting problem. Position, heal thyself. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> eh, can't say I'm too surprised about that. Just really, really, really annoyed. Oh, do I have that in my 
disposal here. Oh yeah, there's an idea. Some SP restores. At least this way I can do a little bit more damage. I don't know if that reinforces the buff or just increases its duration. This will find out. Couldn't tell you. Based on the damage output, I'm assuming that just. Wow, okay. This is getting kind of stupid. Nothing indicated up to this point that I was in any Digimon this strong. Yeah. I've just been destroying everyone. This guy isn't, like, even all that tough, per se. He's just obnoxious to deal with. Right now, I just need Force of Numbers. It honestly doesn't even matter that she can't do really any damage. I just need everyone alive. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Is <sighs> all of us? Okay. This is ridiculous. Absolutely asinine. There's a little bit of a W-shaped difficulty curve happening here. And of course, like I said, the enemy doesn't have SP concerns. He literally just has infinite SP, so he can do whatever, whenever. Maybe I can do some damage here. As long as he's using that buff, he's not attacking, so that does buy us a little more time. But we are going to lose someone when he attacks next. Change Terrier Mons. Ugh, finally. All right, need to do some off screen grinding. Lesson learned. Two memory ups? Okay, I'll take you up on that. Maybe it is time to get some ultimates. Say what? Hang walls on walls. What is this? What? These Digimon are <laughs> super weak. This ain't rocket ain't fooling around either. Hold on, what? Today's been kinda um uh, my throat's a little kinda messed up. Uh, hack hack. You're picking up this mess I'm putting down. Yes! Of course! Okay. Alrighty, on that note, lols. I'd wish for you to die in a fire, but at this point, that would be ironic. Probably you catch on fire anyway with all the hairspray he has. Yeah, seriously. You should get out of here fast. I disabled security in the surrounding area. If you go now, you should be able to do that safely. 
That was a whole lot of unwelcomed company all at the same time. We got through. Abort mission. Get out of there now. We found the case files. All the more reason to hurry and get out. Our plans were leaked to the enemy. I don't know how bad the damage is. For now, just be careful. The office has been in uproar for a while now. Is everything all right? They didn't find you, did they? Uh, some mercenaries did. They're probably using all this hacker business to clean things up. Doug Kamashiro would publicly admit to being infiltrated by hackers. It'd be a huge scandal. I'm guessing they'll keep us under wraps. Let's turn to the detective agency, then. Yeah, don't have to tell me twice. Never underestimate an opponent, I suppose. I think someone was eavesdropping. <laughs> Either way, we got the data we wanted. All's well that ends well and all that. Let's check out our spoils. There should be details of the illegal corporate buyout from Kamashiro in those files. There's information on the Nile Corporation as well. Here it is, the file on Makoto Yamashina. Yes, yes, he was the lead researcher at Nile back then. Seems he was a man who took quite a lot of pride in his research. If he changed his line of work and insists he's never even heard of Kamashiro despite their having bought his own former company. What's wrong, Kyo-chan? This is interesting indeed. There's another lead researcher in the Nile Corporation besides Makoto Yamashina, Akemi Sudo. Yes, I think I remember that guy. Misanthropist. He hated you with other people, but hardly left an impression. Why? What's he got to do with anything? I don't know the exact details, but Akemi Sudo is said to be one of the architects of the foundation of the Eden Network. Eden Sudo was? There may be saying Suedo, I could be off. His main research is on turning human thought into data. His avatar system forms the backbone of Eden's virtual reality services brought about almost entirely because of his work. But I think that he did that while at the Nile Corporation. Kyo-chan, say, can you let me handle this case for a bit? I never stopped thinking about it. I want to go back over one more time, real thorough. Doing it by, I mean, our way. If a true detective like you says so, I have no reason to deny you. Sorry, I need bar this. They're digital! Just make a copy and put it on a USB drive! Go right ahead, say hi to my dad. Okay, see you later then. Wait. Is... is Kyoko's dad dead? Yeah, I think she's more being... like, dramatic. Because it is kind of Kyoko's style. There we are. Try and true detective will continue the case. I don't see a problem. I figured we would continue to assist in the investigation, of course. Uh... He'll excuse me, then. What if I don't? Then what? Then what, Anyas? We all have our sorrows and our joys. I appreciate all of your efforts here. You should! I nearly got my face pushed in, Kyoko. This investigation involves some pretty thrilling stuff, even for a detective. You must be exhausted, body, mind, and soul. Relax for a while. We're a client puzzling case for calling dazzling rewards await us. I'll be, I'll be cool and dramatic. I can play your dumb game. A worried client, a puzzling case for us. You're certainly in good spirits. But that, um, what I mean is that you should rest while you can. That's one of your responsibilities, too. Because there won't, there will always be times when the cases won't wait and you won't be able to rest. So you should rest now while you can. Don't waste the window of opportunity. I need to level grind. Are you joking me right now? You're not convinced. Just you overflowing with energy. Alright, I got some work to give you. A special job that only you can do. Huh? Oh. You don't mean a guinea pig for your latest caffeinated concoction? <laughs> Titaku, you have to take one for the team. You're gonna drink Kyoko's coffee for us. Right, but if I die... <laughs> you can blame me all I'll, you want. I'll die. Yes. If I die, I'll die. <laughs> People tend to die when they are killed, yes. <laughs> your rudimentary <laughs> conjecture. No, you're being a test subject as furthest from my mind. I was planning on giving you a treat. Hmm. No, I'm never doing Kyoko's coffee on snack snacking. So to match things to your taste this time. Alright, to start with, what do you prefer, salmon roe or sea urchin? Those both sound awful. I recommend both, personally. I was thinking about adding in some stew. What do you like as far as ingredients go? What much you like? Carrots, potatoes, beef, mushrooms? Or should we just throw them all in? If you're making a stew, then yeah, you would throw them all in. But I don't think I trust her to cook anything. 
as we're going to be calling today's episode, I'll do the grinding off camera so you guys don't have to suffer for the hours and hours of labor that it's going to take for me to get ultimate level Digimon. But better make sure there's no story immediately afterwards. Which of course there is, so if I had stopped right now, that would have been dumb. Okay, what's our next move going to be? I think we need to get more information after all. You have digital waves happening all over the place, mysterious incidents, plus your half cyber body. Plus there's a Kamashiro case that Matayoshi's working on. There's a lot we need to keep our eyes on. Hmm. Oh my, we have a visitor. Oh, it's the crazy lady who keeps threatening to arrest me. This is Matayoshi's secret weapon. Huh? Whoa, something is fishy. What's going on here? Welcome to the reliable and experienced Karimi Detective Agency. Do you have a case for us, Assistant Inspector Makiko Date of the Cyber Crimes Unit Special Office? Which is also how normal humans talk. You already know everything about me. That makes this even fishier. Well, I'm taking the liberty of looking into you, too. That makes two of us. I guess we'll meet again. Mm. Fishy, you say? Ah, that virus is okay. It does give a pretty good chip. I don't like bust your way of putting things. Fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy. fishy. I don't like bust your way of putting things. Someone that's unique and individualistic in their word and fashion choices, Assistant Inspector. What? So you say fishy, but what exactly do you mean by that, I wonder? Is there actually some foul stench you've turned up, or is that a figure of speech? You've piqued my curiosity. Hey now, what's that got to do with anything? Since you know so much already, I'll just cut to the chase. You're helping Matayoshi with investigation, correct? And that means you're helping me with my investigation as well. Right? You don't need to threaten me! I'll help you! Jeez! But of course, silly detectives, we cannot abrogate our duty to assist the police. Isn't that right, Snack? My duties are yours. Yours are <laughs> your duties are yours. Screw you, Kyoko. You just sit on your butt all day. I do all the actual heavy lifting around here. Carry them out to the fullest. Oops, Mr. I talked to three people. I talked to two old people. <laughs> I'm good at my job. How's it going? I'm going with the client. <clears throat> so... Hi. Now if you smiled, you would actually be really, really pretty. Yeah, she would. Uh, ha, you were just thinking well, dirty thoughts, weren't you? <laughs> no! Well, actually, I mean, I don't know. I don't consider that dirty. I, I think smiling is a good thing. Uh-uh. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, you're under arrest. What, what, what did I do? Serial disappearances in Akihabara. I will visit you in jail, Snack. Oh, she didn't actually arrest me. I wouldn't sit like that in a knee-length skirt if I were you. You've heard the rumors of the Akiba disappearances. Nearly ten people have gone missing in Akihabara. Half of them haven't been officially reported yet, and it hasn't even developed into a major case. But for a bunch of grown ups suddenly vanish, poof, voila, without a trace, for no reason, in a span of measly two months? That's weird, I'm telling you, this is a big deal. As far as top brass is concerned, since there isn't any valid connection between these incidents, we don't actually have a case. My like gut's telling me to investigate this. You got a problem with that? Then shut up and let me do my job. You're a little bit of a type A personality, Date, not gonna lie. I was my cool and started yelling at the top brass, which meant Matayoshi had to smack some sense into me. So the higher up stepped back and left me alone. Matayoshi saved my bacon yet again. See, a soft expression suits you much better. But we need to work on that smiling thing. That's gonna be a thing, isn't it? I finally got by that stubborn old man and backed away from the case so quickly. He used a secret weapon for an investigation. So there should be no complaints if I use it too, then. Oh, you actually smiled there. Look at that. You do understand. Let's just get down to business. See, that's better. It would help if you unfurrowed your brow for a second. But hey, progress! I'll take what I can get. I know, right? So I got data, data on the Digivice. I just need a list of people who have gone missing to Akiva disappearances. We don't have much in the way of details, so this is not an official case. Use my gut to help pick out individuals here in Tokyo who might have a connection to any of the missing persons. What? Got a problem with that? No. 
Shoot, Matayoshi's calling me. All right, I gotta go. We should gather info on the people on that list for now. Something is bound to turn up. Some person in common, a place, a shared hobby. That's how it's on TV, right? All the time. Oh, and do not tell Matayoshi about this. Word gets out, you know what'll happen. Yes, yes, you'll arrest me. As long as we're clear on that. Oh, here I was thinking well, you, you were going to get, like, power-bombed or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not out of the question. Laughs I mean, in Japanese seems, like, justice the type system. To, to bust out wrestling moves on you. <laughs> Just smash my head into the floor? Yeah, I could see yeah. that. How'd it go? Did you youngsters have fun? Uh, defeated Snack is defeated. Jokes aside, we've caught a pretty rough customer now. That's your... No, that's my karma at work. At least you accept that. Regardless, you took on the case, I expect you to do a good job. I'll stay out of Detective Matayoshi's way by not making any moves out in the open. Relax, though. I'll still be supporting you. By which I mean sitting on your butt and eating nachos, presumably. Let's get down to it. What are you planning to do? I get it. So, I see. You get info on the missing persons from Akihabara. The Dr. needs to tread the same path over and over again. I can tell you know that already. Hmm. I mean, how else am I gonna grind? I know, right? I checked fishy had meanings like shady, dubious, and tricky. Certainly a detective might unknowingly take on a fishy air, I suppose. But I think it's just a front, and I'm not alone in that. As it is, you're an unconventional cyber sleuth. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to catching it with whatever stench you end up emitting. That's... I get that you're speaking metaphorically, but that's still just a super weird way to word that. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Kyoko. I just... I, I get the sense that Date was not referring to, you know, you being, you know, kind of... Let's just say that you might need to go shower. It's just a this bit. This is what we're saying. Digimon folk dancing seems to be taking off. Some compete their own way, huh? Digimon folk dancing, that's something else. I don't even know what to make of that. Check it. What is the name of the blade held by Cyborg Digimon Ravemon? I have no earthly idea. Do you want me to look it up? Yeah, head to the Digimon wiki. We'll, we'll, we'll BS this one. Of course, it is possible to get the correct answer and still be told that you're wrong. I've actually had that happen. They ask for the fish that has the mark known as the Devil's Thumbprint, which is a haddock, by the way. And you, we can say haddock, and they'll say that the correct answer is haddock, and that your answer is wrong. Because this game was definitely translated well. I'm betting it's Yaksha King. Uh, it's like Raven King. It's Cho Omaro, which is literally Raven King. Ah. Farm found one in case. What kind of things do you like? I don't know much about you. I like so many things, I can't list them all. I like pizza. I like waifus. I like Digimon. There's still heaps of things I don't understand, but for now, I thank you. Wish I had more info on. Father, you the Kyoko's unwilling to get a hold of some top secret documents. Mr. Matayoshi learns that I asked you to investigate and toast. I don't want to get arrested, so I'll do my best. Get the feeling that she has a bit of a one-track mind in that respect. That said, we'll see you guys next time.